Shalom. Just going to give a quick follow up to the incident in New Jersey with the people who are alleged to have been part of the and Hebrew Israelite group. We are now hearing that there's been a string of anti-Semitic hate crimes against Jewish people in New York over the holiday season. Now, the timing of this is usual. Pretty much Pretty much every year around this time, they say basically the same thing. You know, Jewish people, there's a rise in anti-Semitism. Right? There's been a rise in anti-Semitism, according to the mainstream media, for the past 20 years. You know, so. But what's different this time in a way I think is kind of connected to the shooting in New Jersey. Is that this time there was a. A very quick little blurb thrown out on the main by the mainstream media on CNN, where they were saying that these anti-Semitic hate crimes are they truly being uh, carried out by white supremacists and white nationalists, and they're saying that what the police are saying now is that it's nuanced. Basically, what that means by them saying it's nuanced is a little giveaway to where they're trying to go with this. They're basically trying to make the claim that no, it's not just white supremacists and white nationalists fighting and attacking Jewish people. <clears throat> now, when you consider that, what other group do you actually think they would claim are behind attacks like this? I mean, you have the white nationalists, and that's always been the big boogeyman as the people who hate the various people of different races. And, oh, they hate the Jews the most, according, according to their <laughs> according to this whole narrative. So, who could it possibly be that they're going to say? I mean, what could be the possible reason for them to not just straight up and say that, yeah, it's the white nationalists, it's the racist white people, the white supremacists? Instead of them just saying that, they, they, they say it's nuanced. It's obvious by them saying this nuance that they're getting ready to proclaim another group of people as being as conducting acts of violence against the Jewish folk. See, they're setting it up. They start with little things, little words like nuanced. See, they ain't gonna come right out and say it. But when you put the you see the timing of these events and in videos past that I've always held true to the saying that with it, when in doubt, look to the timing. Look at the timing of events. Look at the proximity of them. How closely together are they? We had that New Jersey shooting at a Jewish marketplace that happened a few weeks ago. Now we're being told that there has been a string of anti-Semitic attacks over the holiday season and that no, we can't just assume that it's all white supremacists behind it, that it's nuanced. <laughs> Quote, nuanced, their wording. When you look at the timing of it all and then you understand what this is all truly leading up to, if you got the eyes to see and the ears to hear, you pretty much know where they're going with this.
just to throw it out there, they're getting ready to basically announce black identity extremist groups, specifically black Hebrew Israelite groups as being the new face of terror against the Jewish people. Now, one has to wonder about these events that they'll point to. Are these truly Israelites underneath some kind of diluted philosophy attacking Jewish people? Are these just or are these random acts of crime that, you know, it's a stroke of opportunity? Oh, a black guy just so happened to attack and and mug a a Jewish guy. We're going to use that. Is that what's going on here? Or are these people being set up to do this stuff? See, even though we're all by blood. Israelites, those of us of the slave trade, we don't all acknowledge or even understand or know about our Israelite heritage. So there's a lot of us out there that are clueless. You know, in their minds, they're just black Americans. And they go through the motions, they get caught up in the game. So I could very easily see a young black American that got caught up for something. Facing time. That gets offered a deal. And the deal is simply for him to go out. Be at a certain street corner. At a certain time a night, maybe around eight o'clock. Wear a hoodie. And wait for a Jewish gentleman wearing a big black hat to come walking down the street. They know this Jewish gentleman always takes this route home at this time of night. So they'll tell him to go tell this young Israelite, clueless Israelite, don't know nothing about nothing, to go out there and just wait for him. And then when you see him, just run up and punch him right in the face and run off. Now, since New York City is the most surveilled city in the country, maybe the entire world, but at the very least in the nation, there is a camera on every street corner and on every stoplight in New York City. There's nothing that happens out on the street that is not video recorded. So they tell this young Israelite to stay at hang out out there at around eight o'clock <clears throat> this gentleman comes down the street he the young israelite runs up there punches him and burns off all this is captured on camera they let the, the young dumbass you know they uphold their end of the bargain you know they let him go but uh They now have video evidence of a hate crime that was committed against a Jewish person by a black person. You know, so all they have to do is add the cover story. All they have to do is say that that black person was either a follower of some various black identity extremist group or Hebrew Israelite group, or at the very least was influenced by. Now, if they want to say this person was influenced by, their pickings would have to be, if they want to say this person was influenced by a black Hebrew Israelite group, their pickings would have to be very specific as to giving an example of what, uh, media that's being put out there that would influence this type of behavior. And guess where they would go to for that example? The street preachers. That's right. So 
So whenever I imagine this stuff is really going to kick off next year, 2020 is when they're going to throw caution to the wind. They're going to let it ride, as they say. They're going to go for broke. You know. So there's not there's not going to be any talk about it being a nuanced issue. They're just going to come right out and say the Hebrew Israelites are 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 influencing hatred against the Jewish people. They're influencing a, a rise in anti-Semitism. They're just going to come right out and say it. they're going to throw caution to the wind, you know. And then as to give an example of this rise in anti-Semitism that Hebrew Israelites are, are causing, they're going to show sound bites and clips of the street preachers in action. And thanks to those street pe- preachers, they have a whole library of, of stuff to choose from. So, I mean, if you kind of like one of those people who are kind of still on the on the fence about, you know, whether or not these Gentiles are really going to try to derail this awakening with some type of smear campaign and, and quite possibly an overt use of force, I would say you need to get off that fence now. Yes, they are. They are making the steps. They're little baby steps. You know, because that's how they do it. They, they, it's like, like I said, it's like a game of chess. You don't make your big move all at one time. You put little, you position your pieces. You know, it's a process. These people think very procedurally. You know, it's step one, step two, step three. They're not abstract thinkers. They're procedural thinkers. It's a step, 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 step. And as a result, <clears throat> that is one of their key weaknesses. Because if you're more of an abstract thinker, you can kind of see several steps ahead. You can kind of see where they're going with things. You know, you may not be good at observing every single step to that point. But you can see the point that they're trying to get to. So that's basically what's happening now. They're putting the pieces into place. You're going to continue to hear this steady dribble of Jewish anti-Semitism on the rise. On the rise. You know. Instead of them saying that it's purely white racist, you know, nationalist and supremacist behind it all, they're going to be, you know, saying, nah, we can't say that all the time. Sometimes it's other groups of people, you know, and it's like, okay, what other groups of people are you talking about? Well, there's this rising, rising thing called Hebrew Israelites and it's kind of really picking up and uh, some of the stuff that they're saying is very questionable is very anti-Semitic uh, if you want an example of it just take a look at these street preachers and, you know <laughs> and like I said to the layman who doesn't understand that when it comes to being a Hebrew Israelite the word nuance is very, very adequate. Yes, we are a nuanced group of people. It ain't just one way amongst us, you know. But to the layman, you know, they, they, they don't know any better. They'll see though. They'll see the Hebrew Israelite. They'll see the preachers, and they'll think that that's all there is to it. They'll see the street preachers, and they'll think that's all there is to it. They'll think that that's the end all, be all to, you know, Israelites. And they'll say things like, "Yeah, it's these black people who think that they're the real Jews." See, you gotta watch stuff like that. 
not very many of us, from what I can see, truly make the uh, effort to distance themselves from the word Jew. You know, they'll sit up here and say that we think that we're the true Jews. But that's the issue. We are not Jews. The descendants of Jacob, who had his name changed to Israel, are not Jews. They are Israelites. That's it. Not even Hebrew Israelites. Just straight up plain old Israelite. You just got to cut all the fat off. You know, it's like a piece of steak. You have to cut the fat off and just the lean meat. Israelite, that's it. So, as some, you know, there are still some of us who say that. There's still some of us who claim that they're the true Jews. There's still some of us who want to walk around with hexagrams. Calling it the Star David. Claiming that that's the national symbol of Israel. I mean, it's. And these are people that have read the Bible and they still can't. They don't they don't understand the concept of ide ideology, I guess, you know, it they, they truly they just truly don't understand. it. I don't think. The true Israel, we don't have a symbol. And we damn show if we had a symbol, it would not be a known symbol of witchcraft. Which is what the hexagram is. Anyway, I digress there. The point is, is that the game is afoot. It's about to go into a new stage. And we have to be aware of it. We have to cut the fat and start acknowledging ourselves as what we truly are. Purely Israelites. You know. We have to uh, understand what our role is in this awakening. Our role is not to. get into a fight with these Gentiles. <laughs> a damn show isn't to run around and just randomly attack people. Our role right now is to pool our resources and understand who we are as a people and stop all this infighting. You know, and what I mean by infight, I'm not necessarily talking about amongst Israelites. I'm talking about, you know, you know, the basic black on black crime stuff, you know. But, you know, I guess that's just going to that's just going to happen. That's just going to go on until, you know. This is all said and done. It's nothing new, really. When you read about the script, the Israelites in scripture, <laughs> Black on black crime, hell, that's that's an ongoing tradition amongst our people. Our people would be fighting each other while other folk are trying to invade us and we'd still be fighting each each other. Wouldn't stop fighting each other to stop to, to, to try to stop the invaders. Or we might would fight stop fighting each other just long enough to stop the invaders, and then once they were done, we'd go back to fighting each other. So there ain't nothing new. And you dang sure don't see that kind of infighting amongst the Jews now, do you? Oh, they're very cohesive. You know, so, I mean, it's just one. Uh, <laughs> that's just one more uh, bit of proof that that proves that uh, <laughs> they ain't who they claim to be, because if they were, they'd be at each other's ass just as much as we are at each other's ass. Anyway. That's the end of that. Shalom.